rocket and its, uh, and its probe that ultimately now is uh, kind of floating uh, dead in, in orbit, uh, that, that from what I understand is it's uh, a degrading orbit, that it's coming closer to Earth. Is there any, any risks this could break up? Does, I mean, does it have a toxic payload on board or anything like that? Well, it um, is currently floating in orbit around Earth, um, and if it, it does prove to be a hardware problem, of course, as I said, that spells the end of this mission, and we then have to face the situation of the satellite returning to Earth, and yes, indeed, it does have toxic elements on board. The Phobos probe is, contains seven tons of highly toxic fuel. Of course, this fuel was intended on sending it from Earth to the Moon and Mars, and then back to Earth. So these are, um, there's a, a lot of, of fuel on board there. One NASA expert has referred to the Phobos Grunt probe as the most toxic falling satellite ever. So this is a problem that Roscosmos, the Russian space agency, are facing, that they may have to come up with some kind of contingency plan to deal with a potentially toxic um, problem caused by the fuel that's on board this probe. However, they do have, and they are saying they have around 10 days to come up with some form of contingency plan should the worst come to the worst and the probe not be salvageable. They have around 10 days in order to come up with a system to make sure that it poses no threat to us here on Earth. All right, Peter. So 10 days and that clock is ticking. Yes.